The pole is always pushing from the pole tip through the top hand. The pole tip through the top hand. No matter what position it's in, it's always pushing from the pole tip through the top hand. We want to create a linear lift. By doing that, we start with the trail leg and the trail leg rises. Top hand, shoulders, hips stay in that force application line. The trail leg rises and then hips. By doing that, we stay close to the force application line, rising up in that direction, and that's a counter force to the pole. The pole that keeps the pole short, it keeps this lever length short. If the lever length stays short, it continues to move. And the vaulter continues to rise up here. The vaulter extends the trail leg up not tucking in. That would be perpendicular to the force application line. By raising up, that creates a counter force to keep the pole lever length short. Top hand, pole tip. To start it all off, it's the tap. So after the takeoff, the trail leg swings, the hips move, everything lines up. Top hand, shoulders, hips, trail leg pointed straight at the pole tip. That's the compression of the pole and we get compression of the pole there. We get as much mass down here as possible to lift up to use as a counter force to the pole trying to straighten. The same holds true in a double leg lift or a double leg hang. Top arm, shoulders, hips, trail leg pointed at the box. That's as much mass as possible in line with the force application line. There's more mass down here to lift up as a counter force to the pole trying to straighten. That keeps the lever length short, that keeps the pole moving. Notice both these vaulters keep the top arm in that force application line. No matter what position the pole is in, top hand shoulders are always pointed towards the pole tip. Top hand shoulders always pointed towards the pole tip. What's going In the pole vault, the force application line is between the pole tip and the top hand. The pole is always pushing from the pole tip through the top hand. On the chin-up bar, the bar is always pushing straight up. The force application line is straight up and down. The swing-up rack holds your shoulders in that force application line while the vaulter lifts up. In the pole vault, the shoulders are always in that force application line as the vaulter creates a linear lift parallel to the force application line. Notice the vaulter, the top arm, is always pointed at the pole tip. It remains in the force application line, allowing the pole vaulter to add a linear lift to the inversion process. See the hips come off the ground? Yeah. So we want to be able to develop the strength to leave those hips there and kick that leg up. Go down up and go all the way upside down. Ready? Down up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's the strength. So we want to develop this lower core and the hip flexors to be able to bring those legs up high enough. You'll see, you'll you'll feel it. But think, here's your you want to all your energy going this way. So I'm going to give her a little assist, wait for me, I'm going to push the hips and then trail it. Now so find that balance point, there you go, good, come down. Well I'm just giving, bend this down, so it's going to go down up, ready, and go. Yeah, so keep it, hold that pipe, that tight, hold that pipe longer so it comes into that balance point and then extend it, ready, go on now. Gosh. Okay, so see how that works? Yeah, I see. So you can feel that? Mm -hmm. That's what keeps the pole compressed. That's what keeps the pole moving more than anything. 